Hey guys, AJ here, back with some more pop culture reviews for you. Some pop culture news. So guys, for those of you guys who haven't seen this yet, they're doing a new computer animated Ninja Turtles film. And uh, yeah, it looks like they changed April O'Neil's appearance. So for those of you guys who are children of the, of the 80s, remember Ninja Turtles was awesome, man. You know, the comic books were awesome. The cartoon was cool, and that live-action film is still, like, fire to this day. It's so good, you know? So, they've done some new, like, move, movies, and, and they had the animate, the live-action one with the animated turtles and all. But nothing really has measured up to the 80s stuff, you know? So, if they dropped the new tra trailer. We have a couple articles here. But before we jump into the articles, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It helps to keep this channel going. But yeah, so this is April O'Neil, guys, and she's a overweight black woman. Now, I have no problem with the race swap in this case because I think in one of the other, uh, yeah, in one of the other kids shows she was black, whatever, right? But what I don't understand is it seems like every time they try and race swap, especially women, they have to be overweight or fat, right? And I don't understand why. This is her, right here, in the middle. And I don't understand. Like, there's the red-headed ver version, there's the Megan Fox one, there's the, you know, there's the black one who's thin, and then you have this unattractive, dumpy-looking one, right? Right here. And I don't understand. Like, I, I think that that's more, you know, harassist than just keeping her white. You know what I'm saying? Why is it that the white one is attractive, and the black one isn't. I don't understand. And if people don't understand how that's actually as discriminatory as as the, as the case for saying that, uh, for leaving her out, I mean, come on, come on, why can't the black one meet meet the same standard? And that's why all this diversity and all this stuff is a joke. It's a lie. You know what I mean? It's all, uh... A performance art. They're not really trying to make diversity. So here's the original April O'Neil, right? In the comic books, in the middle here. And some were saying that she's black, but she's actually white with a perm, right? And of course, they're, they're, they're saying, oh, racists are all triggered by a black April O'Neil. So this is who the original artist drew uh April after, right? There's him, and then there's her, and I believe she's actually mixed race. So the argument's kind of moot, because you can go either way. But she wasn't, like, black, black, and she certainly wasn't overweight. So now we have this frumpy-looking... Here we go. Here's all the Aprils, right? So we have all these, you know, the redhead one we all know, you know, uh, the, the OG one on the, in the middle right. And then we have this frumpy look, 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 look at one on the upper left. Who is this for? Who is this for? I don't understand. I don't understand why. Guys, don't buy in it, into this. And we have another article here, guys. And this is from Screen Rant. Look at this. Her assists are complaining about April O'Neil. As if anyone that has an issue with her dumpy appearance is somehow some ist or some phobe. And it's ridic ridiculous. And guys, everyone's allowed to have their opinion. Especially people that have been watching Ninja Turtles for the last, you know, over 30 years like I have. Or reading the comic books, you know? I deserve to have an opinion. And I think this is stupid. And I am black. So there. So guys, don't buy in into this. You know what I mean? And don't let anyone tell you that, that if you think that this is stupid... There's something wrong with you. Because it is stupid. And it's going to fail. And all we can do, guys, is be glad that we have something to point and laugh at. So, all right, you guys. This is AJ. Quick, quick one. I'm out of here.